Okay, so I'm back. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna use these that I bought from eBay to put under here so that my eyeshadow is flaky. So I just peel it off and then place it how I want, really. I'm just gonna cut this bit because I don't think I can stand having it on my eye like that. Well, this was a bad idea. This is dangerous. Oh, Jesus, no. Don't do it that way around. Take it off and just cut it. And take it on. And make sure the corners are done properly. Right. So now I know for this one. Cut it first, girl. Cut it about half. Try to not get your lashes caught. Yes, they look roughly the same. So I'm going to start by grabbing my beauty blender and just put in some BB cream and foundation on my eyelid. Right, just because this BB cream isn't like a full coverage thing, it's a cream. I'm gonna put on some foundation. Now, the foundation is Bourjois Air Matte 24 Hour Hold in six. And the BB cream is Rimmel's BB cream in medium, nine in one. I will be using these two throughout the video, even for my face. So if I mention a foundation and a BB cream, it will be them. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab a Real Technique Deluxe Crease Brush and it's exactly what I'm gonna use it for. If I could find my palette. Where's my mother left my palette? Oh. Okay, so for a base, I'm going to use from the Morphe palette. I'm gonna use this color or this color. Hmm. Now I'm actually gonna use this as a base, this orangey kind of color. Just put that through your crease. Then I am going to grab a, it's a flat brush basically. I am going to grab this red from the Morphe 350M palette, it's the same palette. And I'm just gonna run it through. I feel like this is way too flat. I'm just gonna change into this brush with the same color, just cause I wanna take it up a bit more and I feel like that is just sitting in the crease, that brush. I just really want the red to stand out and so I'm just gonna pile it on, blend it back to the flat brush. Now I am going to grab an angled brush and just add black. Now I never work with black because it's a scary colour to work with. I'm gonna use my eBay palette, use the black in it. Start off really light just because black is really hard to fix when you've gone too in with it. And then I'm just going to use a plain brush to blend it all in. Okay, I'm going to put some black on it actually. I don't even know how this is going to turn out, but I'm hoping for the best. I think that's dark enough. And then just on the edges, they do tend to like be a bit light. Just going to add with the angled brush. Darker bit. I'm going to do a cut crease all the way around and up and that is why I want the edges to be proper sharp. Time to cut the crease. Oh, I don't have the brush in to do it. Ew. Oh, this is what happens when the mother gets into your room. Grab your concealer. I'm going to be using Collection Last Imperfection Ultimate Wear Concealer and just put it across the eye, look up. And then you get your line and you follow that line through. Stretch your eye out. It helps a lot. No, I can't do it with this. See, this is too thick. I need something more precise. So I've gone away above the white thing because underneath I'm gonna do an eyeliner. Oh God, don't I look like a weirdo like this? Right, cut creases are done. I've just wiped my angle brush and I think, oh, I don't know. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna do a red. 
and an orange so it goes red around this section and then a liner using that color of the morphe palette it's like an orange color I'm gonna grab this brush and do the corners properly. And just blend in the red that I used up here, down here. All right, I'm gonna use the same angled brush now just to make the red sharp. Yup. That is that. And I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Okay, I think that's pretty much similar. Fingers crossed, oh my god, Jesus. Ow, ow, this actually hurts. Oh, fucking hell, man. Ow, this actually kills. I would recommend you just to cut it for that chunk, honestly, because this is fucking painful. Oh, my eye's watering. Wow, my eye is, wow. Time for mascara. Gonna use Push Up Angel by Maybelline. Look down into the mirror so you don't get any on the eyeshadow and so that the eyeshadow stays nice and clean. Time for eyelashes. I'm gonna be using these. Got them from eBay. They didn't come out how I wanted them to. They look like that. Mink lashes. That's how they look. Time to peel off the glue. Mink lashes are so difficult. The glue is so thick on them. It's once you've done that, trim them to your eye length basically. I'd recommend putting it up to your eye and seeing exactly where it's gonna go. Mm. Alright, time to grab my glue, which is the Sally Pro Bonding Glue. It is like that because this nozzle is just blocked, so I just take it off because by the time it comes through the nozzle, it probably won't come through the nozzle basically. And just put a bit at the end of the oh my god, I was gonna say pincetta, but that's Albanian tweezers below 20 30 seconds, and then look down and place them on, and just apply pressure to make sure that you can feel it sticking on your skin and not your lashes. One down, another one to go. Looks really weird when you've just got one on. These are a bit thicker than my usual lashes, but it's a more wow wow wee wow look. So why not do, 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 do. trim that end part that has no eyelash on it? You don't need it there. Irrelevant. That guys. So eyelashes done. Time to wipe any excess off with a wipe. Oh my god, it's left a mark on my cheek. I don't know if you can see it. It's just red here. Jesus. Okay. Where did that fucking go? And that was the BB cream from earlier. And now I'm going to mix it with a foundation, which was the foundation from earlier. Oh. I'm wondering if I should do a black lip or a red lip. So, vote. So I'm asking Instagram. May as well see what everyone thinks. I'm gonna do a poll and that's how I'm gonna decide on my lip color. And then majority who say red or black is what it's gonna be.
this is the most creative look I've done yet. Time for concealer. Actually, I'm using a foundation. I'm not using a concealer. I don't know why I'm doing it with my finger, but whatever. We all have fingers. Sometimes use your fingers. Yeah, if I feel like the bags are still dark, then I shall use my normal concealer, not a foundation. So you know what? Yes, I will use my concealer. I just prefer it. But look how much whiter it is. Carry on dabbing. Oh my god, itchy, itchy, itchy. I'm gonna clean my brows because I feel like sometimes they have foundation on them. Next, contour, contour. I'm going to use my Pro Conceal Concealer HD High Definition by L.A. Girl. And this one's in almond. <sighs> Fuck my life, that just splattered everywhere. I'm gonna take it at the top of my forehead. It's by New Ones, clearly. Oh my god, I was going into Beauty Base to go buy New One and they were shut in because it was Sunday and I completely forgot and they were like, get out. Oh my god, I only wanted one thing. Rude. And then I'm going to take... Why not? Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to take toast and add a bit of that as well. Just a tiny bit because it is very pigmented. I just use like the conceal ends to take it off a bit. It got way too dark, way too quick. And you don't want to look like an oompa loompa because that's not the aim. Now I'm going to do my nose. Time for the cheeks. And then I'm gonna use my Morphe brush. Nice and soft, I love this brush. We can add a bit of toast in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my BB cream so that I can create some shape. And then blend it. As you can see there's a really sharp line. I will take a Primark 110 foundation and contour brush to blend that line. Right, time for some highlight. I'm just gonna use a Real Techniques by Sam and Nick setting brush. Well, it's my highlight brush. Blend it all. Now I'm gonna check what Instagram said. Let's do this. Red or black? No one was picking black and then Assie's sister decided to say nude. And I haven't tried the nude yet, so did another poll. So far, nude is winning with how much percent? 80%. Nude it is. I'm gonna be using Beauty Bakery Fortune Cookie and it's called a lip whip. Gonna add Rimmel Vinyl Gloss to it. It's like a pinky colour. So this is the look. So I don't know how I felt about the nude, so I'm wiping it off. I think I'm gonna try a red lip. Also, what I'm gonna do is run some red at the bottom. Just to complete the look a little bit. Add mascara to your bottom lashes. So I'm gonna use the Melted Matte by Too Faced. Lady Balls. I don't like the red either, so I'm gonna do a black lip. At least it's versatile. I mean, you could do a black lip, a red lip, whichever one suits better, but I think black lip is gonna look really cool. Right, so I have decided to do black as well, because I think it's gonna look really good. I 
I look like Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> Out of the three, I actually think I preferred the nude because I feel like black is too much with all the eye makeup. I forgot to mention the black that I used was from Beauty Bakery and it's called Midnight Truffle Lip Whip. It's also matte black. So I tied up my hair with the dark lip. I think it looks so much better with your hair tied up. So I do think it fits the look, but just tie up your hair, slick it back, wear some beautiful earrings and it will look classy as hell because I think it looks lovely like this. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the little different variations of lips. If you like that, then I'll do that more with the looks so that you can mix it up and choose whichever one you like. Everyone has their own preferences as I saw when I did the Instagram poll. And yeah, comment, subscribe, like, do your thing, share it if you love it. And I hope it was easy to follow. Love you. Have a nice night, evening, day, morning, whenever you're watching it.